All right, we got some things in the mail today. Uh, just got Charlie's Pistons. So we had to get a full new set of four because one of his had a scratch on it and they only send them in sets of four. You can only buy them in sets of four. So we had to get a new set of Pistons and we got a new set of rods locally. And we also got the bearings. So we have everything here to rebuild Charlie's Wago. So that's probably what we'll be doing today is just trying to get his up and running. And also I got this box in as well. Uh, this right here is my axle for the hatch. This came from Insane Shafts. I sent my old one in and they took a look at it and they just sent me a new one. All I had to pay for was the shipping to get, out, to get the axle out there and that was like 17 bucks. So I got a new axle for the hatch. So that's nice that they replaced it and I'll be putting that in later as well, but probably not in this video because like I said, we're just going to try to stick to getting Charlie's Wago up and running. All right, so I just decided to use the oil pump off the motor we got. It spins fine and it, it's a lot cleaner than my other one. Here's my old one. It was sticking. It actually wasn't even turning before I took this cover off. But I ported this one on both the inlet and the outlet and I made a little shim just out of a washer. For this, it'll increase the oil pressure. Put oh. that together. <laughs> yeah, I've read that shimming these will add anywhere from five to 10 PSI more. It's a pretty thick washer, so. Thick with two C's. Double C. We already ran into a problem on these new pistons I got. They've got some design flaw. We're shaving that bump right here down because it's hitting on the top part of the rod and it won't. There's no room for the wrist pin to go through. All right, we got all the pistons ground down. Hopefully it doesn't throw off the balance too much. I doubt it'll be noticeable. And we're gonna start putting it all together. Did you like one? Here's our finished product. Ghetto, but it works. See? It's not proven. Works. Snap ring in. Look at that. Done skis. It's badass. <laughs> so right now we're getting ready to check the gap on the piston ring. That's the space right here when it's on the piston and like inside the block. So to do that, you need a feeler gauge and then you got to push these guys down in there a little ways and then you just measure that gap once it's down in the cylinder. So we're going to gap them per cylinder, not just all in the same cylinder. Yeah. So yeah, we we'll gap each one in each cylinder just in case there's any difference. Yeah, so that one right there has zero gap. So we're going to have to file a bit off that one right there. That's how thick it should be. Yeah. All right, so got all the rings on this first piston right here. Uh, if you guys want to know, we gapped the top ring to 19 thousandths or 18 thousandths, and then the second one we did 20 thousandths, and then the two oil rings we did 24 thousandths. So they're a little loose for boost. So, but it's good. Got the first one done, so now I just got to get the other three all put together, and then we'll push them into the block. So right now they're windowing the gaps on the rings and what that is, if this is like on the piston right here, uh, you want to make sure you have these gaps like clocked correctly. I honestly don't even know what difference it makes but for instance you like don't want the gaps over each other like that. You want to just make sure they're clocked right. And we're just going off like OEM specs, aren't right? Yeah, so we're just going off OEM specs and that should be good enough. And then once we get all these clocked, uh, we'll just put some oil down on the cylinders and will be good to press them in. Moist. Moister than an oyster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little bit, load that hole real good. Jeez. Oh, the whole fist. Look at him go, oh, right? It says four fingers, isn't it? <laughs> Damn. Come on, get elbow deep. Getting ready to put the piston in. Oh, Ooh. there it goes. Like a goof. Like a goof? Like a glare. 
Oh, two for two. Turf. Two more to go. Okay, ready? Almost yeah. test. Woo! Oh, I felt that one. Did no fucks that time, Mike. You got too slow jamming in the hole. Wow, speedy. That's so. So that's speedy. So that's speedy? Wow. So that's speedy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> got all the rods and pistons put in there. So now we're getting the main bearings put in. This isn't engine in the assembly loop. This is straight out of the bedroom. Oh. Astroglide. Astroglide. <laughs> KY his and hers. <laughs> KY his and hers. We're just putting some <laughs> assembly lube on each bearing. It's a shit ton. Fuck it, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna have Taco Bell for lunch. <laughs> Wait, don't, didn't you not want to check the clearances first before you put that on? Oh shit. <laughs> Why? Too late? We're just going together. Fuck it. Nah, we're dude, just, with it. we're just gonna slap this yep, thing together. together. It's good. Okay, we need to put enough. two of these down. So we were gonna plasti gauge it, but we're just gonna, we, we fuck say it. fuck it, yeah. Yeah. That's too much time and effort. Plasti gauge is for Everybody actual engine builders. builders. Yeah, we don't know how. Everyone watching is gonna be like, you guys are fucking retarded. Idiots. <laughs> <laughs> fucking stupid. That, that's why your car blows up. <laughs> right. No, we'll just tell them we measured it the first time and look where that goes. Yes. <laughs> you remember what way these go? If the ridges go out or in towards the front. We should look it up, double check. <laughs> Anybody yeah, on the interwebs, if you know which way this goes, <laughs> please right. tell us. Comment below. below. <laughs> Until then, we're going to go with this side out. <laughs> so tell us and we'll pull the motor back out and get Let's that fixed. Around. So once we fry these bearings, we'll pull it out again and we'll listen to you guys. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure they face out. I feel like Install they Install your thrust bearing with notches facing out. Oh, called it. Wow, you're a genius. All right, so we have a second problem. Rods are hitting the block, so it can't spin. It only goes so far. So we're gonna have to take it back apart and notch the bottom of the cylinder walls. All right, we got it back apart. And we went and picked up a, a bit for the die grinder to cut through the sleeves because we only had aluminum bits. <laughs> all right, we just got them all notched out. We need to go around and get some brake cleaner real quick to clean all the shavings out of there. But looks pretty good. Custom Wyatt Stangali CNC, CNC job. Yes. With a, what was that? Like just an air grinder? <laughs> like a Dremel? Yeah. Yes. Precision, <laughs> nothing but the best. It's cool. You got your assembly goop. You can never have too much. Nope. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> got away from me there, mate. Look at all that. So just nice lather it. Thick bead of assembly. Yes, goop. it's. Imagine you're trying to fill the gap the Titanic sank to. Yeah. And you're just filling her in. Yeah. Fucking I'm ready for the crank. You want me to get that one and then I'll spin it around. Or not. No, we're good here. Bitch. Tap her in. Once it, once it changes tone, you will know that it is flush. Yep. You see how it got more dull instead of a metallic? Yeah. There you go. She's flush, now we just gotta put the bolts in, torque them down, put the oil pan on it, assemble the top end, and we're good to go. Yep. All right, everything's back on. It does hit a little where we notched, but not enough for me to care. We might just do it by hand for a few times till it wears down, <laughs> and then run it. Yeah, after deciding we're gonna roll with it, I'm gonna put on the ported and shimmed pump I made. It's so fucked. <laughs> All right, got the main crank bridge uh, torqued down to spec. Uh, going on with the oil pump. Uh, I guess this is gonna be a trial by error with the, uh, the clearances on these rods because I don't think it's gonna work, but fuck it, we're gonna give it a try. All right, I just got the oil pan and the pickup on. One step closer, you gonna throw the flywheel and everything back on. Yeah, dude. Should be good to go soon. I'm gonna punch this ground so hard. Go, mate. Fucking did it. Made in China.
Got the whole bottom end put back together. Right now getting the tranny put back on. Then we're just gonna put it back in the car without the head on it and then we'll throw that on after. Just cause it's easier to get to the back mount. Oh wait, it's on this side. There's a back mount on this side that's easier to get to with the head off there. So once he gets the tranny bolted up, we'll get it in the car. All right, got the tranny bolted on. The oil filter and the sandwich plate with an oil gauge this time. All right, it's just past three in the morning. I just got the transfer case on. And it's ready to go back in. So I'll probably do a time lapse of that. Hopefully have it done. <laughs> just dropped the motor off the freaking cherry picker. I wonder if you'll be able to see it in the time lapse. It was brutal. It wasn't that bad. Currently, Keep going. Yeah, look at the mark from where the tranny hit down there. Where? Right there, that white spot. Right where? Right there. Right where? Oh, on the ground. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're gonna keep going up. It's freaking three in the morning. All right, it's pretty much seven in the morning. I just got all my stuff back in the wagon just needs a couple little things and oil and coolant but I'm gonna throw the tires back on and drop it down so I can fill those up and I probably won't start my car up because it is Sunday morning and we have neighbors and this car is not quiet so we'll see Okay, so everything is back together. It's got oil and the motor and the tranny and it's got antifreeze. And I went to start it and the battery is dead. So I'm just gonna take a break from this and probably charge the battery later. Well, it is the following day. Uh, I went to bed at like 4 in the morning and Charlie stayed up and got it done So it looks pretty much all together I'm not sure if he's tried to start it yet, but the spark plug wires aren't in there. I'm not gonna mess with it because it's his deal but Looks like it's almost back together and I'm just gonna make a video real quick for you guys Sorry, I didn't upload anything in the last couple days uh, But mainly last night we we're staying up trying to get it done and I was just way too tired to make a video, but I'm going to get a video up right now, and then we'll probably be working on his and getting it running for the rest of today. And hopefully all goes well. You can also check out his sick new valve cover. So I will probably make another video later tonight, and I'll let you guys know how it's coming along. 